Hi guys, welcome. And for today's video, I have these beautiful ladies out here. Che, Leia, and of course, Zizi Kelly the Hot Mama. In this video, guys, is we're going to talk about the reality and expectations on dating uh, foreigners in the Philippines. Let's get started. To the three of you ladies, what are your um, expectations and reality on dating a foreigners in the Philippines? Since all of us here are, datings, um, are dating a foreigner. So let's start with um, CZ. What are your expectations and how did it go? Well, for me, my expectations about dating a foreigner is to have a you know good relationship because mm -hmm. we filipina we are really looking for a serious relationship right so at the beginning you know let's say i just met my man at the, um on the uh the airport and what i expect my my first expression my first um, impression to him i was like oh my god he's, he's really a big guy <laughs> <laughs> that's my first impression okay uh, the reality um dating a foreigner is it's a there's a big um adjustment mm -hmm. like for example they don't like our food and yes. we have to adjust. adjust about that and we need to make sure that they can eat we have to bring them to a you know a nice restaurant or not even uh you know like it's fancy yeah. but as long as he yeah. likes the food because you know they're not used to our food here yes. and also the language barrier yes. language barrier also is very very important because if you don't know how to communicate each other like you know I, I, we speak our language uh, you know like Bisaya and then sometimes you know like um, when he said uh, when, when he speak I cannot really understand what he's talking about I was like what oh my god this is a hard time for me to you know to to understand can you say it again what yes. I'm so sorry expectations reality when I you know date Gary I don't really have expectation because I don't have much knowledge about foreigner mm -hmm. really so everything to me everything is new mm -hmm. but I can tell you you know being in a relationship with foreigner reality is um, it's good you know I, they are serious when it comes to relationship like they will do really what they say they know what they want mm -hmm. so I feel the security yes. yeah and also um, I learned so many things you know being with my husband be mature. yeah it yes. helps me when it comes to maturity yeah, it does and um, also one guiding also, right? yeah yes. yeah and also when it comes to speaking English speaking yeah. in English yeah but I, I improve yeah. at first it's yeah. struggle oh yeah, yeah. yeah. struggle yeah. is there Very but we've been there we get oh, used yeah. to it yeah. yeah so what else uh, when it comes to food at first I find it hard to oh, make yeah. his yeah, food but now I'm happy to do it, you know. I know a lot of recipe now that he likes. Yeah. 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 Really so well. Filipinas are great wives when it comes uh -huh. to cooking. Yeah, yes. yeah. That's the only love I could offer. <laughs> <laughs> more, there's more. <laughs> there's more, but that's one thing. That's yeah. my love language yeah. too. Oh, we want yeah. to, we want to um, you know, make sure that our, our man is really taking care. Like, yeah, we take, yeah. we take care. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. Filipina are... Loves exactly. to cook, yes. loves to clean, yes. even if we're tired, yes. we're just clean all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Laya. What about you, Chet? So, uh, for me, expectation. Before he moved here, we already discussed about everything. Mm -hmm. um, like about marriage, something like right. that. Wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already talked about that and um, just to be happy. Uh, how it goes yeah go with the flow go yeah with the go flow. with the flow we uh we feel each, to each other that we bounce every uh, every day yeah. yeah we feel it and then um about food he loved filipino food oh that's yeah nice. every every filipino food he loved he it loves yeah, and you cook really for really him I yeah i cook for him <laughs> <laughs> breakfast lunch uh yeah. dinner we cook, yeah. I cook i cook for him then he loved it and yeah yeah, that's, that's, why, that's love why, language for yeah, you. That's why they're looking for a Filipina. No? Yes. There's a lot of foreigners yes. looking for a Filipina because we know how to take care of them. Yes, exactly. We don't really um, think that we are. It's it's all about slavery. No, 
Yeah. No, we we are genuine to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just us. So <laughs> another question that I'm so curious to get to know that from all of you ladies, what are those struggles um, dating in a foreigner that you get used to all the time, every day? Like you're used to what? Like you don't really normally do, but okay, it is what it is. So I have to adjust more um, for him. The tampo. <laughs> the tampo. I'm used to the tampo, yeah. but... I had to really accept that foreigners, they're not, they're not really, they, they can't that won't work, that won't work. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. unlike Filipinos, sometimes they would try to sue you, you what's yeah. that? Yes, like you will be the one giving something like, honey, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we well, can, foreigners, foreigners cannot really do that kind And also, of. when it comes to relationship, guys, you know, there's no, there, it, there's not, there, I mean, nobody's perfect here, right? Yes. Through, through ups and downs, we will have that. Yes. So, for you, yeah, it's tampo. Tampo, like, um, uh, foreigner likes to communicate. And uh, I've learned that, I, you know, I, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I've adjusted and now I don't do tampo. If I have something okay. that, I, I, you know, I get offended or something, I'm disappointed. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I usually talk to him and we work out, you know, yeah. we work things out when, to communicate. Yeah, com uh, Compared to the Filipino, um, we are not um, open yeah, to are, our yes. feelings. We yeah. are hesitant to, mm, if I tell this, like maybe he's gonna get angry and he's gonna leave me. Something like that, you know? We'll wait, we'll wait them till they get what we want or they'll yeah, yeah. understand yeah. what we feel, you know? Yeah, we hate confront confrontation, that's yes. for sure. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we like to be quiet. Even, yeah. you know, there are some couples, Philippine couples that would be in tampo for three days even the men also yeah. do that oh you know yeah of course and and it, um when you have tampo guys i know a lot of you are looking for a serious relationship okay he said that oh i need some space i understand that you need some space but the, for us as, as a filipino we're sensitive we are overthinking you know we overthink yes. especially if you're not contacting us yeah we have to make sure that you we can freak say, out hey to me yeah, so i'm, to I'm fine here don't worry about me because i'm just here yeah. i'm with you blah 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 just but if you're space. not if you're not telling us like hey yeah, yeah. you know if, if you're just silent it we're gonna be like afraid. You're gone, like you it, it, yeah it seems like are, are we still in a relationship because <laughs> we're not used to that as a filipina yes yeah, we want clarifications. Exactly. If you want, if you don't want this relationship anymore, just confront me. Yes. And then let's move on. Uh, for me, tampo we all, uh, like I said, we talk about it, uh, and tampo doesn't work for us. We just talk every time. Yes. Yeah, about, of course. Communication yeah, is communication. Yeah. It's a must. To the three of you ladies, what are the things that make your man alive every day? Because oh. we have different love languages. I wanted to know each of one of you because we have different ways on how to make our man alive. So <laughs> I wanted to start it with Leia. How do you make your man alive every morning, every day, every evening? He's alive, he's breathing. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to keep him inactive. Yeah, inactive. Yeah. Like, not will, slow or, yeah. Yeah. we like to work out together yeah and uh, what else we like to travel you know take our kids for walk or something and i cook him healthy food yeah because also as you as you go along together for many years i have seen that there were relationship that goes to boring and boring yeah. and oh, end up to just the, the spark the, I, there's I thought, no spark to make him alive, make him alive. <laughs> You meant to make the relationship work so it works yeah. all the time every day. How do you keep that alive? How do we keep that spark? You yes. know, we you know you still do romantic. Of dates, course, like, like that. Like that. Yeah. yeah, of course. Like they, they yeah, yeah. Like yeah that that's one thing. Yeah, um, it should you know, never be go away. I we guess. go out for a date. We do that. Uh, what else? Uh, we love to karaoke together. You know, oh, spending time together is very adapting important. Adapting the culture, the culture that we have. Yes. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's good. There's a lot. We spend time together. You know, praying. We do pray together, yes, yes. and that's very, uh, oh, very, sweet. very good yeah. activities. Yeah. Yeah, because it's easy. Um, because if you support, um, okay, for me, um, to make the relationship alive. <laughs> yes, alive. Well, you have to do something new. Because it, because mm -hmm. you know what, if you do it every day, like, you know, like, okay, um, like, like, oh, like, like, for example, if you're just saying all day, 
it's it's boring because I cannot deal with that. Really, I am really adventurous, yeah. and my man also is adventurous. He just go with the flow. We plan adventure. We do um, we walking. We do um, you know like some activity stuff. You know that at, like for example, because we were we were um, talking this early. Like hey, what what's our plan? We always keep we always plan. Yeah, and also dating and eat outside. So. Yeah, that's how, that's what we do. Yeah. For me, um, yeah, like Leia, I'm cooking also. He loves my food, so um, every day we have plan. Just like you know, if uh, like we stay today, uh, after that tomorrow we have plan to you know ride. Yeah. You know? Just to add, it's also one year. Me and Gary been together six years in December one thing that you know make our relationship really work is we put each other's happiness first yes, like yeah. I want to do things that would make him happy he, do, he does the same thing yeah, as well yeah. to me you know so yeah <laughs> you make an yeah. effort yeah. Each other, yes, each other. yes 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 you know, so, and also guys and also surprises sometimes with that yeah you know, if you surprise your you know like me because uh, I love to do surprise yeah but yeah, for us it's you know it's it's good to do that, yeah. and you will feel more special, yeah. right? In your experience, ladies, why do you think that we are great wives in the Philippines? Why do you think a lot of foreigners are really looking for great wives in the Philippines? We Filipinas are the best when it comes to wives or dating, and even if they have Western women there, there but they still chose to fly half day around the world just to look for a Filipina. So this is. Um, in connections of dating uh, Filipina foreigners in the Philippines. So, CZ, why do you think that there are some foreigners wanted to be with Filipinas? I think they're just looking for a traditional woman. You know, if you want to be dating with Filipina, you, you're going to be a traditional husband as well. Yes. So, um, me personally, I, I've heard a lot about, you know, the uh, foreigner dating with Filipina. It's because um, Filipina are really taking, we're really, really taking care of our partner, yes. and we are family oriented. Yes. Right. So I think that's it. Okay. So Leia, why do you think great wives are Filipinas the best? What make us the best wives? Yes. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's a lot of good Filipina, but then again, I'm not gonna say oh because there are some foreigners yeah, have yeah. bad experience with Filipinas as well. Yeah. Well. But generally, Filipina, we are more traditional, yeah. like we are easy to live with, mm -hmm. like, you know, like we we're, we we're, are we're flexible. Yeah, we are willing to submit to our husband. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm proud to say I submit to my husband. Yeah. And we love to uh, we love to, you know, uh, taking care of our husband. And also we we like an uh, put our husbands first, first before, before ourselves, ourselves. Yeah. yes and that's, I agree with that. yeah and we don't um we don't we don't play that role some people some people just oh they're just acting like that because they want to get out from the poverty well yeah that's not true because we we're raised to be like that our parents also do the same thing yeah. we are my our parents even find work and still able to take care of the family you know so yeah that means uh, being said we are easy to live with we're agreeable yes and I there's agree. more reason yeah. You can add yeah, um, Filipinas, like you said, guys, um, traditional and affectionate. Yeah, affectionate also, and we are different from their experiences Western, yeah. from Western, Western, from Western, from Western yeah. yeah. Yes, that's uh, I always heard about the foreign guy uh -huh. that, that we are moving failed. here because uh, they like that Filipinas are different. We are caring. Know, yes. understanding yeah we are, we really are uh, they are stressed uh, mm -hmm. from the western country yeah. so yeah. they move here to find uh, because we are known that we are caring yeah. we're the best yeah. yeah it's just not about physical you know yeah. I mean, it's just a bonus like yeah, our if looks, you're good you know outside. but the best way is inside really how we treat our men yeah we're genuine with that mm -hmm. and we are understanding yeah. yes in connection to this all of us meet our partners through online so nowadays it's very rare for you to bump into someone in the store or somewhere 
on a mall to get to know the yeah. person because all of us here in the Philippines are mostly on online it doesn't mean that because we want to scam people or mm -hmm. like that but um, to in reality we Filipinas are into dating sites or we Filipinas are into a long-distance relationship most of us aside from Laya um, CZ me and Che um, I Laya also start yeah. Doing the online. Yeah, online, you yeah. yeah she met her. Uh, she met his husband online, and um, yeah, of course, CZ uh, as well. Yeah, um, we talk, um, you know, through Messenger. Yes, but he's one of my subscriber. But we, you know, like online. we fr friends first. So yeah. and then you know, and then we end up uh, in a relationship. Yeah, so in connections to that, we Filipinas are tend to be on online much nowadays. Better, yeah, in, in I online. think it's much better in some other ways because um, Filipinas are excited as well to start the relationship through online by video calls, chattings or calls like that. So if you are guys interested of looking for Filipinas just like us here in the Philippines, just try to check out Christian Filipina. The link will be posted below under my profile or below under my description box later. So again, we have dated and successfully been dating our partner for a long time, especially Leia is a successful a married woman uh, to a foreigner named Gary and they've been together for six years almost, almost this December. year in December oh, wow. so um, I know Gary is very lucky to have Laya because um, as, as I observe and seen Laya is a really good person a great wives and mother and um, she's the best example actually as a traditional woman married to a, a foreigner and Che also has been dating a, a foreigner from and really fly to you right away after you get to know each other imagine that guys there were people like if you feel like oh i think i like to get to know these women right away i don't wanna you know if you have commitment to each other like don't talk to anyone because i'll come yeah. or like that you have to make sure that you have commitments and you were honest also because there were some other people that are keep saying promises but by the end of the day they will <laughs> they not really come so yeah. the girl is hoping for nothing so <laughs> In CZ as well, you've been together for uh, more than a year. More than a year, and it stays strong. So. Oh yeah. What do you like about most in your relationship? <laughs> well, I like uh, in our relationship. We, uh, the most that I like is we are really like, vibes party. together. Yes. When I go to party, he go, he, you know, he yeah. go to party, and then he's really supportive on my YouTube channel as well. You know. Yeah. He's always there like this. He's not really, he's not even jealous about many guys are, you know, sending yeah. me a message. He's really understandable to our That's relationship. One thing you like about That's him. why I like it. And he's also talking about uh, the future, future plan, yes. you know, what we're going to do after this, blah, blah. So that's how I like, you know, him very yeah. much yeah yeah i'm just so curious because i know you both are in love and i see that in person i met david and he's very cool person yeah. and helping you and supporting you as well as gary gary is with leia all the time and i have first met your uh, partner as well chet so i think you guys if you're interested only if you're single out there looking for a filipinas in the philippines once again check out christian filipina it's right below under my description box later thank you so much ladies for joining me to this uh, amazing topic that we have done and um, don't forget to subscribe to cc kelly the hot mama philippine family life with laya and che the filipina. the filipina so thank you so much guys for watching bye